and this is World Peace Projects. Thank you for joining me. Today I wanted to talk just a few minutes on the energetics of sex. So from an energy standpoint, sex, synchronistic energetic exchange, okay? It is one of the most potent forms that we have to move through our physicality, our emotional body, our obviously our sexual body, our energetic body, and our light body on so many levels to connect and tune into self, another individual, and ultimately source. Because sex, obviously, since it's a creator of life, is one of our most potent and sacred direct links to the all that is. It is love embodied and expressed through physical acts of affection. So for the purpose of this talk, I wanted to focus on just the energies of it. And I'm going to take the standpoint as a single female, okay, or a single male. And the reason I bring this up is because I've often seen when moving into healings with my clients, let's say we're talking about a sexual issue, or it just opens up for energies to clear out from past sexual lovers, partners, this type of thing. So what's happening energetically? We all know what happens physically, but what's happening and what's left over energetically, okay? So I bring this up because for my personal choices, I have chosen to be monogamous, and I was celibate for the past two years, basically. I chose to be with self, asexual, if you want to say that, because of the energies of sex. It was more important to me to clear my sexual body because I wanted to come back to a place of clarity and center before I chose to reconnect with somebody. And also from my own individual perspectives, sex is not just a physical action. It is, a, in my perspective, sex is a very sex, a sacred act. Of course it's a sexual act. <laughs> but it's a very sacred act, and there is a lot going on energetically. And since I take care to command my energy and keep my energy clean, it's very important for me to be in a specific space and with a specific type of individual who has also cleaned their energy body sexually before I engage in this act. Now, the reason I look at it like this is because if, if one has the ability to look at sex through clairvoyance, through energy, let's say you're an individual, let's say you're a gentleman who has had over his lifetime 50 sexual partners, okay? Now, most people don't know to go in and do some energetic clearing once you've moved on to the next partner or in the in-between time. They simply end the relationship, meet somebody new, start up something else, and keep going. Though energetically, because you had a contractual agreement in whatever form that was, even if it was just a one-night stand, you and that person made a contract. You made an energy agreement as a soul. If you do not go in there and clear out that agreement or cut the cords, the energetic cords that link us when we have sex, when we have that physical act and we merge our energetic bodies, we create cords and vacuums and tethers and all sorts of things energetically to the other person's energy body. So not only have you now connected your energies with another individual, but because sex opens you up energetically to the all that is, it is very possible that if you connect your energy sexually to another individual, you are tapping into, in many cases, all of the energetic bodies of all the other individuals that they've had sex with. So now there's this crazy web that's being created. And you're, of course, probably not consciously aware of how this energy web is affecting you, though it is. So let's say, for example, you are a gentleman who's had 50 partners in his past, and he's moved on, at least consciously, as much as he knows he's cleared, he's let go, though he's had a jealous girlfriend. Well, you have your new girlfriend come in, and suddenly she's feeling a little upset. Something's off. The energy's weird for her. She can't put her finger on it. You don't know because it's just her. It's not, you're not cheating on her. You're not dealing with anybody else. But she's suddenly uncomfortable. 
Well, this could be because she's picking up on the energy of sex that's still in your field. So let's say you had a jealous partner in the past and they still think of you, they, they, they fantasize about you, they energetically impose into your space still, even though they're not physically around you, they, they connect with your energy. Since they have an energetic sexual tether to you, they have the ability, and most likely it's unconscious or subconscious, to push their energy field into your energy field. Now, you have somebody else in your energy field. You obviously don't want them there, but you're not aware that they're pressing you, is how I will say it. Well, now you have a new partner. She's beautiful, she's sweet, she's lovely, and you really enjoy her. And she comes and connects with you physically and sexually. Well, now this energy might impose onto her energy. And so there's this very interesting web of energy that starts to lay out. It is very important to take the time to clean out your sexual energetic body. You would be amazed if you went back and looked at what tethers and connections and energy cords may still be lingering in your field. And if you were savvy enough to see all of the emotions and feelings that have spanned out through your experience in relationships, how many of those feelings or situations or, 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 or experiences were simply because they were catalyzed by the energetic remnants of past sexual experiences. Or, let's say you feel uncomfortable with this new person that you're dating. You don't know why, but something is off. Your intuition is having a hit. It could be, and I've experienced this many times, because I tap into sometimes somebody's sexual energetic baggage is what I'm going to call it. They have no ill will. They don't know this, nor is it something that I could usually bring up to somebody who doesn't look into energy the way that I do, though it's there and I'm aware of it. If you're not aware of it, you may just be feeling something is a little off. You can't put your finger on it, but it's affecting you. So this is one of the reasons that I find it very important to go through your energy clearings of your sexual body. If you have had a breakup or moved on from one of your sexual partners, or maybe you just had a one-time thing, you think it's gone, but most of the time it's still lingering in your space. And most likely, consciously, neither of you want your energy still tethered. So it's important to go through and clear it out. If you don't know how to do this, just pray on it. Focus on it. Imagine all of the people that you've been intimate with and having cords, possibly. And go through there and cut those cords. Healing on it. Maybe you need to actually get in there and clear out healing work. Do some healing work on this. And I guarantee you that you have cords and tethers connected to past partners in simultaneous lives, in past lives. There's all sorts of energy that still lingers in our field because we make these energetic agreements and then we don't remember them because we're human and we're in the, the veil of illusion of forgetfulness. But that does not mean that the stuff is not still floating around in our energy body. And it is affecting you. Just like EMFs may stress you out in the day. People sucking on your energy, whether they're aware of it or not, or having energetic sexual cords left over, drains your energy and it drains theirs. So command your space by clearing out all of the old so that you can make room for the purity in yourself and bringing in the new. Thank you for joining me, you guys. If you're interested in a personal healing or a, a channeling, please check out my website, worldpeaceproject.global. Take care.